Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to TechGig webinar series, our endeavor to empower techies. We believe that sharing of knowledge is the key to enhance our skills and grow us as professionals. With this principle in mind, we have initiated a series of webinars conducted by industry experts to give you all a crisp insight of various domains. The topic of today's session is orthogonal array in software testing. Our guest speaker today is Prasad Vartak, team lead testing at Accenture. Prasad Vartak has eight years of work experience in manual testing and has worked on insurance, finance and retail projects. Prasad has done his bachelor's in electronics and telecommunication and has worked in insurance, finance and retail domains. Prasad is currently working on Tools SME for Rational Suites used in Test Management Quality Manager, Requisite Pro and ClearQuest. So without further delay, I introduce you all to our guest speaker, Mr. Prasad Vartak. Over to you, Mr. Vartak. Thank you, Moini, for that. So, without waiting, I, I believe we would just start with the today's uh, webinar series. Uh, so, today's topic, I'll be presenting the orthogonal arrays in software testing. Will be uh, as this is more like a statistical way of testing. Uh, we'll be seeing how uh, these orthogonal arrays can help us in software testing and how this can be very benefited uh, in our day-to-day -day testing process. So here's the agenda for today's session. Uh, We'll be starting with an introduction of uh, what is an orthogonal array and or maybe how a testing is done. We'll be getting an insight of what are the challenges and then we'll proceed towards uh, why orthogonal array where we will be discussing uh, what is an orthogonal array and why it is used and why we have decided to use this in our testing. And then we'll see uh, a few steps of how to use this orthogonal array in a software testing and then we'll see have a quick overview around the benefits and then disadvantages and finally we'll end up with the session with a Q&A session. So here's the, uh, we'll start with the introduction section. Uh, so purpose of testing, why do we test? We test normally to detect and resolve the errors as soon as possible and this is what is actually expected from by the end client so that we, we deliver him uh, the product which is very much bug free. We also verify whether we have met the client expectations or not and normally what we also see uh, is to ensure that all all the operations that are present in the product are functioning or not. We also check for that during our testing. And uh, it may also be done to train and pass ownership from the portfolios to the all other users as well. So our goal is to reduce the business risk associated uh, with the use of a product by providing management and users with the appropriate quality related information. So in short, why do we test? We test in order to meet the business requirements as well as satisfy the customers and deliver him what is actually expected by us. So few challenges around testing. Uh, testing is very intensive and it can be very costly if you are not able to or unable to uh, estimate properly or if you are not able to plan your testing activities then it may be very exhaustive or it may be very time consuming and it may lead to increase of your uh, cost in the project. Uh, and the best approach and uh, what normally is uh, followed across the industry is they, they prefer to do an exhaustive testing and uh, we, we just uh, 
emphasize resources that they should be performing the exhaustive testing and uh, we expect them to do that within a short frame of time and this normally it results in work life affecting the work life balance of a resource and in, in practical scenario an exhaustive testing is not uh, achieved and I really um, with my experience I don't prefer to have an exhaustive testing but I would prefer a smart way to perform testing. Uh, and one of the challenge which I, I have seen personally is uh, we normally uh, have some trade-off between the efforts and the quality assurance. So one of the challenges is to see uh, or come to a benchmark wherein we have a good trade-off between the efforts and the quality assurance. So this is what the one of the challenges that we have. So I'll just show you a small um, slide. Uh, this diagram is actually shows uh, an overview about how much testing should be done. Uh, if you see, uh, there are two question marks in the diagram, which is on the left hand side. It shows that the under investment in testing. And on the right hand side, it shows that over investment. So uh, this is with reference to the cost of the testing and quality of testing. So we need to have a benchmark or a trade-off between these two parameters. Normally, we end up uh, going on to the higher side of the cost or we end up going to the higher side of the quality of testing with effect in the cost, with increase in cost. So in order to uh, have a trade-off between them, we have an approach wherein we can have a good trade-off between them, we can reduce the have the cost leveraged, leveraged between some considerable amount without affecting the quality of testing. So this diagram shows uh, as an overview about with OA view or, or means the orthogonal array, uh, we would be able to have some uh, appropriate amount of testing with some uh, acceptable amount of time frame and some good quality as well. Good quality, it means the coverage of all the requirements within a minimum amount of testing. So orthogonal array is also known as an applied statistics way of testing. Uh, it is also named as an pairwise testing or combinatorial pair testing. So there are various ways in which uh, orthogonal arrays are named as. Uh, it is now it is a statistical and more like a systematic approach of testing uh, in which we apply the statistics and it is normally used for design of the experiments. Uh, we can also use um, this for any type of testing that is for system regression configuration and performance testing. 